For convenience as you approach the rear of the McCann, all models are equipped with an automatic power lift function. With the tailgate open, there's 17.7 .7 cubic feet of cargo room with the second row seats up. There's the convenience of a 40, 20, 40, three-way rear bench seat, which when folded flat, opens the cargo space up to 53 cubic feet. I removed the parcel shelf, by the way, but with its sloping coupe-like roof line, the height is somewhat compromised, which means one of my bags won't be coming with me. Let's see if it'll fit in the BMW. Well, as you can see with the trunk up, you're met with an equivalent 17.7 .7 cubic feet of luggage space with the second row seats up. Again, there's the 40-20-40 rear seat configuration that when folded flat expands to a maximum of 49.4 cubic feet of space. But once again, I can't quite take everything I wanted to on my trip, especially if I've got a car full of passengers. Let's see how I get on with Velar. Well, we all know how this one goes. Your arms are full of luggage and shopping and you're struggling to reach the key in your pocket. Well, with the Velar, you no longer have to go through that ordeal. You just use this, their very cool new feature, the gesture tailgate. Put your foot behind the rear wheel and up it magically pops. Now, with the second row seats up, the Velar has a versatile load space of 34.4 cubic feet, which is 16.7 cubic feet more than the BMW and the Porsche. If the seats are folded down, well, aided by their versatile rear seat remote release levers, the space increases to 70 cubic feet. That's 17 cubic feet more than its closest rival, the Macan. Now let me see if I can fit my bags into the trunk. Well, it all fits in with room to spare. Ready for my trip.